Highway 2 in Milford. Broadcasting on Mi'kma'ki. The ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. This is City News 95.7. CJNI-FM, Halifax. Number one for breaking news. This is City News everywhere. Good evening on this Tuesday, April 26th. I'm Tim James. Here's what's making news right now. Russia is warning the West its support of Ukraine could lead to World War III and once again threatens the potential for a nuclear war. The ongoing avian flu situation in Alberta has left farmers on edge as they scramble to contain it and search for a source of the outbreak. Elon Musk's purchase of Twitter promises a return to free speech on the platform, but an expert is dubious on what exactly that means. A jam-packed night in the NHL with teams fighting for playoff positioning. Austin Matthews hits the 60-goal plateau. We've got some baseball, some playoff hoops as well. It's on the way in sports at 15. It was another bear market with the tech-heavy Nasdaq leading the declines. And earnings reports show losses for Google parent company Alphabet while Microsoft beat expectations. Business at 26. Those stories and more coming up for you in two minutes. From the City News 95.7 News Desk, I'm Stephen Wenzel. Here's what's making news this hour. Staffing shortages made worse by COVID-19 in Nova Scotia daycares are forcing some centres to reduce services. Bonnie Menard, chair of the Private License Administrators Association for Child Care, says some daycares have had to close sporadically or cut operating hours due to a lack of workers. Menard says staffing issues in the sector are not new, but the situation has been made worse by rising COVID-19 infections. She says there are far more job vacancies in early childhood education than there are applicants. Meantime, the Deputy Minister of Early Childhood Development telling a legislative committee on Tuesday that daycare workers who left the sector are expected to return when the new compensation structure is released. And five minor hockey players from Western PEI have lost their appeals of a 25-game suspension for allegedly hurling racial slurs at a black goalie from Nova Scotia. Hockey PEI says in a letter sent to one of the players that the third-party appeals committee has denied their appeal and upheld the original decision of the Discipline and Ethics Committee. The players received the suspensions after Mark Connors, a 16-year-old goalie for the Halifax Hawks, said a group of teens in the stands made the comments during a game at a hockey tournament in Charlottetown last November. An investigator found his account of events to be credible and in line with information provided by other sources. I'm Stephen Wenzel. For more news, follow us on Twitter or at halifax.citynews.ca. I'm City News Weather Specialist John Wilson. Down to 4 degrees tonight as this cloud starts to produce showers and fog patches as colder air comes in from the Great Lakes. And it's pretty chilly. Rain tomorrow and 8 as a cold front goes by. And that'll leave us with showers Thursday and 8 degrees as well as the front kind of stalls offshore. And then the cooler air really settles in. Friday, a chance of showers 6 degrees only. Maybe a chance of flurries to start the day there. Tonight's low 4. To our top story. The invasion of Ukraine. Another attempt to end the Russian invasion of Ukraine has failed to bring any meaningful change. UN Secretary-